to adapt on ear review solid noise cancelling headphones. Liretone Q adapt on ear. In best headphones 2018. The good. Great sound quality lightweight and compact design extremely comfortable convenient proximity sensor and touch panel unique app offerings. The bad. Active noise cancellation needs work competitors have longer battery life and wider Bluetooth range. Verdict. The Libratone Q Adapt on ear headphones provide excellent sound quality, style and comfort along with its active noise cancelling technology for only $250. 7 tenths very good $199.99 Amazon The Libratone Q Adapt on ear headphones provide excellent sound quality style and comfort along with its active noise cancelling technology for only $250. Finding a noise cancelling and comfortable on your headset that's less than $300 is usually a difficult task, but this isn't the case with Libratone's Q Adapt on your headphones. You'll barely notice the lightweight Q Adapt on your head, but it packs a punch with crystal clear audio for only $250. Add in its convenient touch controls, modern design and comfortable cushioning, and the Libratone Q Adapt manages to stand out from a crowded pack of premium on-ear headphones. Available in either cloudy white or stormy black with gunmetal gray and silver accents, the Q Adapt headphones are fashionable and sophisticated. Soft memory foam and synthetic leather cushion the ear cups, while a woven fabric lines the headband. The headphones can be adjusted with a slider that extends or shortens the swivel ear cups to your preferred height. You might want to be careful when throwing this headset in your bag since it's not foldable. If you want to keep your Q Adapt pristine, use the included carrying case. A light hoop nightingale is present on the Q Adapt's right ear cup, which signals whether the headset is on or in use via Bluetooth. The left ear cup simply displays a Libratone logo. Like the file canvas. The Q Adapt's right ear cup houses a touch control panel that lets you manage playback settings with a few hand gestures. Swiping clockwise and counterclockwise raises and lowers volume, respectively, while holding the touch panel for 3 seconds pauses, hush, and plays audio. Double tapping the panel skips to the next track and triple tapping skips back. Throughout my testing, I found the touch panel on the Libratone's Q Adapt to be more convenient than the one found on the final canvas. My listening experience wasn't interrupted when I accidentally bumped into the panel or brushed past it. I also appreciated the Q Adapt's proximity sensor that paused and resumed playback whenever I put the headphones on or took them off. If you're low on battery, you can make use of the O cable Libratone provides. Wired mode is connectable to any device that has a 3.5mm audio jack, including smartphones, or their dongles, laptops and tablets. Tethering yourself the old-fashioned way will make you lose the Q Adapt Star features, including active noise cancellation, audio filters, touch controls and the proximity sensor. When I took the Libratone Q Adapt out of its package, I was shocked at how feather light it felt in my hands. Right off the bat, I could tell the Q Adapt would weigh less than the Fio Canvas, 7.7 ounces, and Bose Quiet Comfort 35 to 8 ounces, and my assumption was correct, as the Q Adapt beat out the competition by 0.7 and 1 ounce, respectively. It was easy to forget I was wearing the Q Adapt headphones, which made for a pleasant listening experience. It was nice to not feel the pinch that many on ear headphones bring under extended use. For the most part, the Q Adapt headphones felt snug when I sat still, but their placement shifted during more physical activity. If you plan to run or work out, the Q Adapt headphones are not ideal, seeing as they slide off when leaning your head forward. And this happens whether you tie your hair back or not. Though I found that leaving your hair down greatly exacerbates the problem. Pairing the Libratone Q Adapt on ear headset to your chosen device is a simple task. Activate Bluetooth on your device and turn the Q Adapt headphones on with the power button at the base of the left air cup. Select the Libratone Q Adapt on ear option in your available Bluetooth settings to pair your device with the accessory. You can also pair your devices manually via the Libratone app. Both methods take less than a minute.
When I connected the Q-Adapt headphones to my iPhone 7, my ears were greeted with a single beep. There's no built-in assistant available to voice your selections. Varied beeps are the only indications you'll get when turning the power on and off, and skipping between tracks. I tested a variety of genres with the Libratone Q Adapt on ear headphones, from K-pop to hip-hop, alternative rock, and everything in between. Each song I listened to sounded sharp and dynamic. Bass-heavy tracks like RM's Joke and Snow Tha Products AAA were replicated with potent and accurate sounding clarity. 21 Pilots Heathens and B Millers like that were reproduced with punchy instrumentals. The Q Adapt captured both songs rock and pop bass, along with diverse percussion and strings. The vocals also came through distinctly. When I switched to more classic and vocally challenging songs, my ears were treated to operatic sound quality. The Q Adapt recreated Andrea Bocelli's rendition of Ave Maria with the high and booming tones you'd expect from a tenor, while Maria Callas Hibonera performance captured her wide mezzo-soprano range. There wasn't any perceptible distortion in the instrumentals either from what I could hear. I compared the audio performance of the Libratone Q Adapt, the Final Canvies and the Bose Quiet Comfort 35 too, and it was clear that the Q Adapt came in third place. Its audio performance was great, but playing the same songs back to back on the Final Canvies and Bose QC35 2 returned richer sound and truer noise cancellation. Audio quality remained the same with the O cable attached. However, doing so defeats the purpose of having some semblance of active noise cancellation, as well as the Q Adapt smart features like the touch control panel and proximity sensor. Audio settings modified in the Libratone app are also made invalid when you're in wired mode, including enhancements, internet radio and streaming. If you are low on battery or on a plane, the O cable is useful, but other than that, it's better to stick with Bluetooth. The Q Adapt on-ear headphones are supported by the Libratone app, which lets you view and manage settings, such as active noise cancelling, instrumental enhancements, touch controls, proximity sensor, LED lights and customizable themes. Selecting the Libratone Q Adapt on-ear icon listed below the Sound Spaces section on the main menu lets you choose among four noise cancelling modes. City Mix Level 1 allows an 80% of outside noise, City Mix Level 2 allows 60%, City Mix Level 3 allows 